Hello, this is Mike Anderson, your Government Affairs Chair for NAMB. Today is Sunday, April 3rd. This is part two of the series I did yesterday on the uh, message to consumers and lawmakers in the media on the ill consequences on the results of the Fed rule on loan officer compensation if in fact it does go through. Today I wanted to concentrate on six little talking points so the consumer will understand and the media will understand and lawmakers will understand. First of all, number one, like I told you yesterday in the video, the fact that we cannot lower our price. Now what exactly does that mean? That the federal government has dictated and said that I cannot, or a mortgage broker or a loan officer cannot lower their price to help a consumer. And like I said yesterday, that just makes no sense. What the end result will be, will the consumer will suffer for this. You may be at a closing table and you need three, 400 bucks for some unknown reason. And it's a common practice today that we pitch in to help you as a consumer, our client. Well, we are prohibited from doing that. Number two, fees will increase uh, if this rule does go through. The reason one, number one, reason why is under the new good faith estimate rules that went into place last year, if we are off, if the loan originator is off on the amount that we tell you the consumer, example, we tell you the title insurance premium is $300 and it ends up being $400, the loan originator takes that out of their commission to pay that. Well, under this rule, that will not happen. So the creditor, the creditor will have to pay that cure. Now, how do they pay that cure? They're going to increase their fees, underwriting fees, etc., and develop a slush fund to cover those costs. So that's num that so that that's going to hurt. Number three, the borrower loses by no option of yield spread premium and origination fees combined. We can only get paid either all up front or all in the rate. So the result will be higher cost and higher rates to the consumer because it eliminates choice. Number four will be the service level. Service level will decrease with the elimination of competition. And basically where this is headed, if you if you eliminate a lot of the small mortgage brokers in the urban rural areas, there will be left to the big banks. And of course, you know what happens there. It's like almost a monopoly. They will raise their price. Number five, urban and rural areas will suffer with little, little or no service uh, uh, providers in your area. Uh, which is really going to hurt. You're going to be forced, consumers are going to be forced to get on a telephone. After all, there's not a big bank on every single corner out in these urban and rural areas of the country. That's where the mortgage broker really comes into play because they live in that community, live and work and work weekends and nights and etc. Number six, the lower income home buyers are going to be greatly affected by this because they won't have any options available for the lower loan amounts. And we're already starting to see announcement of minimum loan amounts as low as seventy to seventy-five thousand dollars. So the end result will be where do these people go? There will be limited resources for a consumer on smaller loan amounts, and the end result will be an increase in cost and fees. So that those are your six options, uh, six bullet points that I should say that I wanted to share with you all. But consumers and lawmakers, just remember this. Like I said yesterday, this is unprecedented rule where the federal government is stepping in and dictating how I pay my employees and how a mortgage broker pays their employees and how much money we can and cannot make. And they do say that we can adjust our price periodically. And I'll leave you with this. It's a great example. Imagine, if you will, we were both uh, selling Fords and we had uh, two Ford dealerships side by side next to one another. One over here is allowed to lower their price whenever they want and this one's not. Okay, How long before this one here goes out of business? That's what they're doing to the mortgage broker. We cannot adjust our price except once a month or every quarter. So please pass this along to the media, to your lawmakers, and I'm hoping everybody watches this. And, and we've got till Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday of next week, of this coming week, to get this thing stopped with a full appeal. And we could sure use everybody's support and help. And let's put some pressure on and let's, let's, let's defeat this uh, ridiculous rule that we don't need right now in this desperate time of a housing recovery. Thank you very much. And I hope everyone enjoys their Sunday.